So now let's pull back a little bit and put that within the context of the transversal. A transversal experience is when you get pushed out of your subjective territory without control. You become basically un unhitched and you start reeling. But transversality usually um, precipitates change of some kind as you adapt to the new environment, as you move. However, you're not always in, the, you don't typically have enough control in order to adapt in the moment. It's usually kind of almost a retroactive, it's bi univocal. Experience response. It's almost like the space time, or also like um, thinking feeling. Like, I think that we, thinking and feeling are the same, but we differentiate between thinking and feeling out of convenience. You, you say something to me, I think about what you, what you said, and I decide whether or not it was insulting, and then I feel. But I think thinking and feeling are the same, right? So this is similar along these lines as well, is that you have an experience, then you retroactively make sense of it, yet you're already experiencing it. So you're really only making sense of what it is that you're experiencing as you're experiencing it, and it happens super fast by univocal as a kind of processual stream. Okay, this brings us back to the snails. Now, at this point, you may notice they're all gone. Um, each bite, despite the kind of familiarity of that sauce, I'll tell you that this thing tastes like nothing else I've ever tasted before. It's got a kind of chutzpah to it that is really um, I underestimated. And so what it, with each taste, I get pushed off into some other direction. My motor consciousness that's starting to kick in, it's kind of early in the morning for me, in this conversation, then gets derailed, pushed into another direction because of the tantalizing taste of what it is that I'm eating. And so then I'm trying to filter out this noise in the interest of making this cogent. I'd call that state power at work. Anytime you're trying to assert cogency and sort of sense on something that's otherwise um, you could say in inarticulate, then that's state power at work. I'm less invested in, in asserting state power onto my experience of the food because this is happening within a willful parameterization. I sat down, I ordered the food based on what the, the weight person suggested because I really like the idea of eating what other people suggest because it's a way of becoming them. You know, they tell you the thing that they most like isn't necessarily the thing that you most want to eat. And so then you eat that in the sense that you're experiencing their subjectivity on some other remote level because now you're experiencing something they really enjoy. So in this case, I'm eating something that I wouldn't typically have ordered, but it's taking me off into some other direction. And it has a degree of visceral electricity to it in, to the extent that I can't process all the variables and it does crease with intensity. But I wouldn't say it approaches the fractalactic. That's not the case. I would also say it's not particularly transversal in any really powerful way because it's not instigating, at least as far as I'm conscious of it, a significant change on my part. I'm not reeling, but I am actually moving. I'm not out of control, but I'm not able to stay focused in the moment because of the power of the flavors and food that I have here that I'm lucky enough to have the opportunity to enjoy based on the recommendation of the server.